Hello and welcome. Today we start the vlog in the middle of absolutely nowhere, but the plan of attack is to try and get ourselves to a Lego store because I want to get the new BAM stuff, which is all the Ninjago bits and pieces. I think there's seven characters to try and get. So the plan is, is to go from my current location to either Bristol or Birmingham when I get chance to leave here. Then I want to take you into the store, have a quick look at the BAM minifigures themselves, get them home, and then we can have a good look at them because I want to see what they're going to look like to add to my current Ninjago display before I pick up the Ninjago market. So like I said, I'm not too sure how long this video is going to be because the time currently is 10 o'clock in the morning i can't leave here until about half past four because i've still got one or two more appointments that i've got to do so i drive around this as my daily drive which is always always very very pretty but then once i get chance to leave i will escape and depending where it is quickest on the sat nav like i said we'll either be going to the bristol or Birmingham Lego store straight to the BAM section and this is the last day of double VIP points as well so I might be very very tempted to try and bring back one set with me and it's either going to be a monkey kid set or it might be the Ninjago markets as well so we'll have to wait and see on that one but well, you'll catch back up with me when it's time to leave and then we'll just keep daisy chaining from there and we are back to where we start this video and it has not gone well because from here i can't get to birmingham because the road has now been closed the way i need to go which is an absolute nightmare and i've just checked the traffic to get to bristol and i will get to the store after it closes because there's currently been a big accident on the m5 which again is not exactly ideal but hopefully everybody is all safe and sound so what we're going to do because i'm going to miss out on the double vrp points which means obviously i'm not going to be getting any lego sets from this video but i still want the minifigures so wherever we carry on with this video from will then depend on where i'm going to get the minifigures from so it's either going to be london bristol or a legoland so different day and I have just booked tickets to go to London via the bus. So you're going to have that journey to look forward to before we actually get to the Lego store and have a look at these minifigures. And we made it. So we've got in two different stores. The first one we looked into now is all mixed up. So this is much, much harder to find all the different bits and pieces that you need, all the elements and all of that kind of thing. But the next clip that we'll have a look at it is super, super organized. But all of this will be shown in a much greater detail. You've got lots and lots of Lego store videos to come over the next couple of weeks, plus a full London vlog as well. So this is literally just for the six minifigures which we will be having a look at when we jump back into the lego room and i can show it all off and compare it with actually comes with the market and we are back in the sauna we're back home what a day that was yesterday long day but good day managed to get all six figures if you spotted it earlier on i probably said it in the voiceover as well that each of the bins were actually different uh lego stores which is pretty really cool so you've got three london lego stores that are filmed they're all coming now what i have got in front of me no that is not the new one that is still the actual gardens i have got the gardens as a backdrop Try and make it fancy. And then we have got the market on the computer. And then what I am going to do is I'm going to plop you in my makeshift stand. And we're going to go through these minifigures best as we possibly can. Because they are different to what comes with the set. So what I want to try and do is I'm going to open these up. And we're basically going to play spot the difference with what comes with this. Because that is the reason why these are available. And this one was really, really difficult to get his green eyes. So we will get these open. We'll have a look at Lloyd first, and then we'll see if Lloyd is included within. Now, these aren't the easiest things to open, but we'll give it a go. So one, then the other. So what I actually ended up doing was with Lloyd, I went with the green sword, and they all got their coloured swords. Now, it sounds a bit weird, but in the actual set, I do believe, I think he's got a golden sword. So you can see just here, if I place him down, hopefully it will focus, because I know this camera's not the best when it comes to this kind of thing that it will focus okay but we will if i can on the spot make it a bit more lighting on there that should make it a little bit a little bit better or worse we'll soon find we'll soon find out so there he is so that is his green eyes that was a really really hard difficult thing to find now they all have dual faces so that is the cool thing so they've all got a dual face um that's one thing in the actual builder minifigure bit that sort of gave it away of what head sculpt you actually needed as such and obviously they all come with these cool things as well so each one of them some of them were really easy to find some of them were an absolute nightmare what i do like on this is you can see you've got really really nice printing now every single ninja from this builder minifigure wave has dual print arms so you've got the dark green on this side and then you've got the light green on this side but even this one for example you've got the nice silver 
and then you've got the blue. So these outfits are pretty smart. But if I leave him stood there like so, and then we'll go to the big screen on the laptop, if I can actually figure this out as I'm making this up as we go. So the small screen now should be Lloyd, big screen should be this. Is Lloyd included within this set? You would imagine he would be. Um, because the next one that I know is included, we will go to straight away. But there he is. So that is Lloyd just there. And you can see he has a completely different outfit. So I don't know with regards to this TV show if that is his final form as such. And then the outfits that he's in now is more of his training bit because I do believe they have gold swords as well that was a long way around me saying it so i'll spin him around so you can see the back of him with his other if there's a headpiece on and also if i flip this around now so you can actually have him big again you can see the difference on his head piece so you can see that it's completely different on this one than it is to this one so if i zoom right in that's, that is as far as i possibly can zoom in because we put all the minifigures together go away there we go. So you can see that's what he looks like. That's the easiest way of me doing it. And on that one, he's green, green with the gold. He's got the gold belt and he's got the two-tone legs and everything like that. And I think the, these figures look really, really smart. That det Detective Zane, the silver one, I've got to get that set just for this minifigure. Now, we will move on to this young lady. So we'll go for the one with the pink hair. Now, annoyingly, I cannot remember her name. So you can start screaming out at me for that. It should be somewhere on the box, but I can't see it. So she's a, she's a new character that's been introduced. There she is on the front there. So Urban Sor Soren, I think her name is. So that is who she is. But we can see, as I place this one down, long way of doing it, that with regards to her, she is in, a, in her civilian outfit. So you do not have her civilian outfit on the actual set. I think she is in her sort of battle form. So that one just there. You can see the difference between the two. So you can see if we go big screen again on this one, you've got the gold print on the side. You've just sort of got the basic t-shirt on the front, cool hairpiece, and also the makeup on her cheeks and her eyebrows are really, really smart. And then as it spins around, you can see that you've got the really cool kitty bit on the back and the belt, which looks really, really nice. Now, the only thing that looks similar is the hair, because if I leave her just like so, and then we'll go back to the big screen, you can see on this one now that she's got the really gold shiny arm, and then she's got the really nice print on her arm. And then obviously she's white on white on white on white, isn't she? So she's completely different with regards to that i think actually me being stupid and rushing actually had the legs on the wrong way around so we'll put them we'll put them back on the right bit i thought she looked a little bit odd there we go so she's standing standing a little bit better but yeah gold gold and then she's got the on her arm it's just yellow with a blue hand and then she's got the white sleeve on the outfit on that one so that is a really nice looking minifigure then on to the next one so we'll go to the blue ninja so Zoom out ever so slightly and just move over. So you can see, again, like for like with regards to those two, they look obviously exactly the same with regards to actually um, obviously the outfits. Whereas this one is completely different to Lloyd. So you can see how they are different on the front of this one with regards to just how much silver gets used. And the legs are all slightly different as well because you've got this really nice print just on here. But she has got dual face and she's got the nice nice print on the back and again they have matching prints with regards to the symbol but the actual pattern and everything on the back of these two as you can see are completely different so the symbol in the middle is the same patterns are completely different and i do really like that but again sticking back with her i think she looks really nice within this outfit i almost think that this outfit looks smarter than that one because i quite like the two-tone blue and grey on her on the sleeve but there's got to be a reason why there must be a reason why they're doing these now and because obviously maybe they do have completely different outfits in the um in the tv show and they've just decided to do it this way but it is a, they produce their own product so you would imagine uh, they would have seen that coming and they've done they've done this on purpose but that is those three done so we are three down and we have got three to go so i do like those three minifigures moving on to the little accessories i got that i actually just ended up giving a controller because I couldn't nobody knew 
what weapon she should have had and then I just put the blue one on that but I thought well if she's in a civilian outfit there is a games bit in the new market so she can just she can just have that and join in on the game and obviously she is using the controller on the new bounty as well right moving on to these three so you can see again you've got another civilian uh, outfit as such or actually that I'm lying to you now that's his ninja outfit and he's actually in the civilian outfit on the screen so we're looking directly at the orange top just on there so put this one to big screen you can see the hair is the same and the markings are the same but it's actually a different color so by the looks of it on the actual computer it looks like it's black where is the marking on his cheek just here it does look like it's got like a two gray mark but he has got that pattern so that's the different face print to what he has on the uh, on the computer and he has got the thick bushy eyebrows and he's got like the shaved bits on the side hairpiece looks to be exactly the same but again you can see the outfit on this one this is obviously his ninja outfit i would imagine because that is again very similar with regards to just the symbols and things on the back of what these have but then if you look at what he's up there he's just in his sort of chilled out trousers and then he's got just the orange t-shirt that it looks like so there's got again if you know and if you've seen them let me know and obviously if you've got any of these figures let us know as well because it'd be really nice to know if you have picked any of these up now moving on to the red ninja now this is what he looks like he's got the plaster on the head so that is the one that you've got to be looking at and then again he's got the grumpy face with the plaster on and then that's what he looks like on the back so weirdly that is if you if the trousers are in the actual bam bit the wrong way you're looking for brown but they've actually got all the print and everything on the front. So they're not too hard. They're not too hard to find the ninja trousers. But they're the same with these as well. So you can see that it's a complete khaki green. And then he's got the deeper green on the front. So bear that in mind. Obviously keep that, keep that into consideration if you're going to get yourself to a Lego store before this offer runs out. Now, do they have the minifigure of him on this? I don't think they do. So I'm having an absolute nightmare with that. That's gone all the way back. We did not want to do that whatsoever. So I'm very, very, very tempted to get this um, Ninjago market much sooner now after seeing it so many times. Um, but seeing it without any minifigures displayed looks really, really odd for some reason. So they're all in the Ninja outfits there. We've seen those two. He's chilling in his room. That'd be why he's in his clothes where they are. So I don't think we have got him. I doesn't look like we do. So we've got given an extra, an extra ninja on that one. So it's just you can't get all of them. So you can't get all the ninjas. You can literally just get those three currently. So it'd be interesting to see if I just put all the ninjas side by side if they do the rest of the team um, in this form of outfit. So we'll have to keep our eyes peeled for the next lot of BAM figures because that one makes sense because obviously he's sort of in his ninja outfit and if you can't get that outfit anywhere else may have bear in mind you can actually get these in the sets but i do need to pay attention to see what outfits they've got in the set and we'll do that very very quickly at the end so you might actually have three outfits that you might have to get if you want to collect the team three times just from this one set but that is that done so there we go nice and simple i do like the two-tone arms and all of them i think they do look very very smart now moving on to what is almost like a bonus figure now the reason is this isn't actually a ninjago thing but it's not on the posters it's not on the artwork but as we can see just here he says as he tries to zoom in and it's not working it's having a bit of a it's having a bit of a hissy fit and i'm too hot to rush or edit any of this out the little one that is on the end has the exact same outfit so you can see it's the same everything. So they're going to the same dojo. You've got the same red and white arm. You've got the differences is obviously this lady down here with her golden sword. She looks like she's got the black uh, black belt. So she could be potentially an instructor. Or I thought she would go really well with uh, the gardens or the city because you do have the karate club in there as well. So you've got different people on there. And I'm looking now directly at obviously the garden set and there is a number and somebody else in a slightly different uniform with another black belt on she's the one that's got the purple hair so there's all sorts of different bits and pieces going on with that that's why this is a good one to make up for option number six so that way you only have to get two packs and what i ended up doing is i thought it'd be quite cool to have a teapot with that one and in case 
which I don't think I did. There's the other two swords. So there's a blue for the blue, red for the red, and then also you've got the green for the green. But that is what all of those minifigures look like side by side. So we'll put all of those up. Hopefully you're happy with those. And if you didn't know they existed, get yourself down to your local Lego store because you can only get them from your Lego store. And it is, uh, is it $5.99 for three? So it's cheaper than the CMFs. Obviously, they come in these packs. I'm going to keep them packed up until I get the actual garden set. So that, so far, is going well. But what we will do is, if you're sticking with me, we'll do a little bit of bonus stuff on the... Um computer now so the reason why i'm doing this online as well for two reasons one i messed up on kai so i need to backtrack and go no he is in there because he's got the red bandana just there so he is actually part and parcel of it and if i did read the box guarantee on the front there he is blacksmith kai on the front now you don't have coal in here so you still can't get the full team which is a bit of a shame so you are missing coal and woo from here now i've been thinking about it weirdly and I don't think I can remember seeing a coal in any of the dragon sets, unless he is hidden in here. Um, I cannot see any of them at all all unless that is him there he is no it's fine he's here so coal is available for the team but i do believe the only place you can get a coal is here now if you did notice on this actually what they've got this is another reason we're doing it online is you can see that they've got this sort of scale face so you've got him just on the front just there and on these you can see just on the red with the sort of dragon eyes you've got on that one and again on that one so that's a little bit clearer on the blue so you do have to get multiple sets obviously to create the full team so if you wanted a woo i then believe you would have to go over to the destiny's bounty as we come down to let's find the bounty so woo is in here but again you get the same same couple of minifigures and you don't get a zane in this either but you do get this one so you can see how that one's got like the um I guess like the dragon tusks on the top of his helmet, but obviously you do get the cool little baby dragon. But they do have the dual, dual faces on those. And again, with this one, you get a different headpiece. So you can get her three different times if you wanted to as well. So the reason why I'm rushing is because it is so, so hot. Now, these are the from the Spinjitsu series, so I think that's why they're different, even though they do look like they've got a dragon on the front. I don't think they are part of the new bits and pieces because we've already seen the two, the two different types of torso. But we need a Zane, so Zane must come with some sort of mech that's the ice dragon creature because i have got it up i think i've got it set to newest so it should he should be up there at the top somewhere where there he is so he is down in here so if you want to get him in both of his forms you can get him in the detective and you can get him just like that and you can already save 21 quid on that set if you get it from a different place so some of these are just a big saving 21 pounds so it's 94.99 from that one but i think it's time to wrap it up and this camera is absolutely boiling hot so if you can like this video and subscribe to the channel that'd be absolutely fantastic comments below let us know if you are going to get any of these six if you do what store did you get them from and how easy was it to find hopefully you enjoyed this silly little video of just showing all these little bits and pieces off if you'd like to see more of this kind of thing as well then obviously let me know and i'd be happy to help but guys as always thank you very much for watching you lot take care and i hope to catch you next one Dada.